uh, already published research papers and eight research projects funded by the government have already been completed. He is currently working on a national project funded by CERB. Then there is also an international project uh, with the, in partnership with an Australian university. He has been awarded UC, UGC research award back in 2014. So you can clearly imagine the kind of interest and experience Dr. Jay Kumar Singh brings in in research and innovation at Kale University and now as the Dean RMD here itself. Uh, thank you so much sir for taking out time and speaking about research and innovation at Kale University. Yeah, research at Kale. Uh, uh, Kale has been interesting. Kale EF Kone Lakshmi Education Foundation has been interesting on research along with academics right from uh, inception and uh, with uh, being uh, deemed to be university announced in 2010, 2009-10, uh, uh, there has been more focus on research, especially uh, research, application-oriented research of the faculty. So uh, all the faculty have been given a responsibility along with academics, along with the classroom teaching and uh, delivering the academics to the students. There has been more focus on research perspective of the faculty, either in terms of publications, in terms of projects, patents, consultancy, industry involvement and this has led to the present status of the uh, KLEF uh, with, with its uh, research intense environment in the campus and the infrastructure being focused more on uh, research promotion among the faculty. I would say it's the uh, management vision and also the uh, faculty's dedication uh, towards developing themselves, developing their careers uh, in terms of research and also uh, giving the uh, output to the university as and when needed as per the demand and uh, establishing themselves as researchers, proven researchers across the nation, competing with the national uh, trust areas, national uh, uh, securities, national uh, say interest and uh, giving their output in that directions and uh, al also considering the local problems, what, what are the problems, what we are facing, our environment, our technological problems and uh, trying to solve them with the help of the students, involving students. And the major strength has been the uh, working hands in form of students because of the uh, students and the motivation from the management and the faculty interest all put together has uh, placed KLF in the present position uh, with, uh, with research terms. Absolutely. So you were talking about students and uh, faculty coming together for research. So how is this kind of projects and partnership encouraged at Kale University? I would like to focus here uh, the uh, the kind of uh, schedule or the scheduling of the projects for the students is not just like that, that the third year students or second year students or the final year students pick up the projects. But there has been laid out a, a methodological approach where uh, as the set of students are allotted to the mentor and in that set of students uh, we are trying to make a combination of uh, different experts like uh, a CSE student sitting along with a mechanical student or an electrical student sitting with a computer science student and talking the uh, issues or uh, when, a, when a project is given by a mentor uh, that project will be totally in uh, an R&D oriented uh, concept oriented project where it, it would be an interdisciplinary interdisciplinary and also having uh, uh, responsibilities given to the students that based on their domains. So this brings in a, a multi-centric approach and also intradisciplinary and interdisciplinary approach uh, from the students as well as from the faculty point of view. So we select the students and the students once, once the group is selected from the departments, this group continues and uh, with the second year to the uh, third year to the final year. And by the time the final year when the group, when, the, when it is working in a group, each group or each student knows their domain in which they are working and what would be that contribution, that piece of work, that piece of R&D work, how it is going to contribute to the total project. That gives a total understanding for the student and it's a win-win situation for the faculty because uh, a multidisciplinary project is being completed in total with uh, training imparted to the students and also the work being done under the supervision of an experienced faculty. So uh, that's how we look at uh, students' involvement and that is uh, paying off results and we have seen wonderful outcome with the students having a uh, total understanding, a 360 degrees overview of the uh, subject, not only in their own domain, but how this, uh, how this particular domain is interconnected with the other domains of the project, how an overall project develops, how a product develops, how a prototype develops and how the functionality of each domain or each module is connected with and what is their role in the project 
how crucial is uh, each module and uh, and what is the importance of each module all this makes the student a perfect engineer or a perfect uh, scientist at the end of the day when he has a total knowledge of the project working in multiple domains and bringing in all the domains together and putting it in the form of a product a process or a prototype whatever we call it so i think this is the uh, secret behind the success of uh, involving the stakeholders into the projects and getting the work done and having the research outputs what we see in terms of publications or patents research research is happening at a lot of levels there are a lot of patents also coming up through research incubation cell and of course there is the startup cell as well so how do we uh, how does the university commercialize you know uh, the patents and what is the process if you can take us through those details as well we need to accept that uh, at the country level yes we are uh, uh, we are lagging behind in uh, true commercialization when compared with the other countries but it's never the late india has picked up very fast in this uh, uh, patents issue in the intellectual property and having an understanding of the intellectual property rights and managing the uh, portfolios of the inventions so uh, and at the klef also we are uh, uh, we are in pace with the uh, with the nation catching up with the number of patents initially we started with uh, the promoting the patents uh, just with the filing but then uh, late of uh, now we have an msme center uh, an intellectual property facilitating center sanctioned by ministry of uh, uh, small and micro scale industries msme given an opportunity as a hub in the andhra pradesh region to educate all the small industries in uh, filing their patents through kale university through our support we support them the industry people to uh, file their innovations uh, to the indian patent office as a part of this uh, we also have uh, been supported with uh, technology business incubator atal innovation center and also tide 2.0 from uh, ministry of uh, electronics and information technology all these platforms are serving towards uh, providing a uh, platform for startups and especially the uh, intellectual property facilitating center is providing or uh, is educating the industries or the industries who uh, have the potential but who have not done till now the patenting process we are in going in uh, mou with the small industries being uh, making them partners in our uh, in filing the patents and getting their innovations uh, blocked and uh, used commercially for commercial usage at klef if i look at the faculty and the students uh, filing the patents uh, it's it's i would say uh, it's going in parallel in two directions one where the uh, output of the research from the projects uh, from the uh, from the funded projects or internal funded projects all the research innovations which are being uh, coming out are being filed if they look at the commercial angle if they find the commercial angle in the pro in the projects or if they see that there could be a, a product coming out of that research uh, there's a potential for a product then those are going as uh, patents they are being filed for patents and we are publishing it but there are certain projects which we are already working with industry partners and uh, those kind of projects are going uh, with uh, directly with patenting and commercialization so uh, for example we are looking at uh, some development of biosensors which are being evaluated at kale university in collaboration with industry at hyderabad Uh, they already have a platform we are evaluating them we are uh, uh, evaluating the product and then uh, we give the output of the commercialization aspects are being looked at so uh, we are parallelly moving in both the directions where uh, protecting our uh, innovations in the form of intellectual property uh, rights and uh, always looking for the options with the industries to work with industries in hand to uh, patent the recent innovations which are happening the recent changes which are happening in the production process uh because of the uh, lockdown situation or because of the present trend of online marketing and online uh catching up with the uh, industry 4.0 all these has made lot of automation and these process changes are now being patented and those are coming into commercialization also with the industries so uh, klef has made a definitive path of having two parallel lines going on one with uh, patenting with industry and one taking our own innovations and then going with the patent and then transferring the technology to the industry so uh, we uh, we are moving ahead with both the strategies parallelly so any remarkable research story you would like to share with us you know which is benefiting all the facilities and all the parallel directions as you told about from the university right now as i said uh, uh, the mo major focus has been uh, uh, now looking at uh, if i look majorly the r and d is being supported with the doctoral students on the campus 
So uh, our working hands are these PhD students who enroll for the doctoral studies and uh, they become the backbone for the research, uh, uh, bringing out the ideas and the research uh, thoughts of the faculty into execution and uh, making it in, in reality. We are looking at uh, the potential of the PhD students and if I have to uh, quote one or two such uh, success stories, yes. Uh, you take it the biosensors as I mentioned, uh, Dr. Pradeep Kumar who has come out with uh, developing sensors uh, to either the uh, prostate specific antigen of the prostate cancer or looking at the uh, vitamin D3 uh, say point of care devices because as of now there are only uh, ELISA based techniques. So it is true uh, uh, project which is uh, looking towards commercialization. So uh, at the back end it is doctoral students who take up these ideas and we have come out with a paper based uh, sensor which could be used at the point as a point of care device. Uh, where it would be much easier and it would be less time consuming, less cost and uh, immediate results to the patient as and when required with vitamin D3. Uh, that is one of the very successful projects with uh, good publications uh, being coming out, out of this. The second one if I look is that the malnutrition worked out from the biotechnology department again a startup, uh, a woman's startup, uh, a girl student enrolling for a PhD degree and then converting into woman taking up the responsibilities of being a mother of a small child, kid, uh, and then still holding the hand with science and being into science, starting a, uh, having a startup and getting fund for a startup by a doctoral student. I would really appreciate this. And it's a big one of the biggest success story of uh, KLEF with Dr. Sudhavani from Biotechnology, uh, making her, motivating her and uh, making her stand. And I am uh, very happy about uh, Mrs. Ramya who has taken up this task and she has got the startup now. We have also got the startup fund for this uh, doctoral student who is working on uh, eradicating malnutrition and putting a uh, combination of uh, uh, trace metals or uh, uh, metals and also probiotics into our own foods. Uh, the technology is known, but integrating into our own foods and, and then making the uh, community also adopt it uh, by putting this technology into execution that we can have these added advantage into our regular daily foods, uh, whether you call it batter or you call it uh, curd or uh, buttermilk, if that can be uh, in involved, then the malnutrition can be uh, eradicated much faster. And since malnutrition is observed more in children, making these foods along with the food, giving this uh, deficiency uh, requirements like either uh, you call it iron or you call it zinc or uh, uh, or probiotics which are needed for getting good immunity in the children. All this bringing these technologies and putting them, in, putting them or indianizing, uh, converting them into, uh, putting them into Indian foods and then marketing them. Uh, I think that's a great uh, work, piece of work done by the PhD student at Kalia. The other success stories are, uh, if you look at uh, the atmospheric science, uh, where again a PhD student has brought out the recent data of the heat waves, flowing uh, across India and uh, the reason has been unknown and now we have a hypothesis being developed the reason for these heat waves and how these heat waves are affecting the environment and uh, what is the effect of these heat waves how it is going to be and there is there has been a lot in the antennas and uh, RF and microwave direction where good amount of research has been carried out uh, huge amount of projects and we are now in a, a situation of uh, thinking of mini and micro satellites uh, which which can be launched and we can get data throughout 365 days and we can do the analysis of this and we can uh, predict on certain parameters which are affecting the upper and lower atmospheres. So uh, like this I have a good number of stories to uh, share with you with every department with every doctoral student who is uh, uh, giving the output uh, being full time here in the campus and making the research environment very vibrant on the campus. Sir, so you were talking about a lot of success stories at the campus that brings me to my next question also. How, how are women and girls, you know, students also encouraged to get into research? What is the ratio like and what efforts are put in to thrust women into research and innovation as well? Uh, that I would say, uh, yes, uh, looking at the national level, uh, yes, we uh, we are still lagging behind in promoting our own, own women into science, but uh, uh, understanding the uh, say the kind of environment we have with the responsibilities uh, for a woman, it's more challenging. But now the times have been changing, and uh, 
more and more women are coming into the science and technology. And at KLEF, I am very proud and happy to share this that we already have supported women scientists who want to come in, come back into the science and technology careers. There are 20 women scientists who have been supported with the help of DST Women Scientist Projects. These are the women who have taken a career break. They have taken a break intentionally because of their uh, motherhood or because of their transfers from different places after uh, migration to different places after marriage. Uh, and having all uh, satisfied at uh, the side of the coin with the prof uh, personal life, now looking back at the professional life, can I be back to the professional life? Yes, KLEF has been supporting this uh, right from uh, the day we have uh, taken initiative on the uh, gender bias in uh, uh, the professional careers. We are supporting the women very much and uh, the 20 projects which are being supported by the DST to take up the women scientists uh, clearly envisage that uh, the promotion from KLEF is 100% and we are welcoming all such women who want to utilize uh, the KLEF platform and uh, the support from the government, which in the form of DST Women Scientists, we are here to support you. The mentor will be provided from KLEF. The professors uh, will share the lab and we provide all the infrastructure facilities. You can have the fellowship from the government and try to re-establish your professional career in your, uh, say, dream areas, wherever you want to uh, succeed. And this has been proven already with the 20 women scientists, as I've mentioned. In every domain, not only science, not only technology, you call it any domain, uh, we have the faculty mentors who are supporting, the senior professors who are supporting. The recent uh, story I would like to share is there has been uh, Kausar Jahan, a woman scientist, uh, who has been with us uh, in, 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 say, uh, it's a research on uh, underwater uh, target tracking. I guess you understand this. It's very high-end research where, uh, which is useful for the defense and uh, the government of India has supported with the Women Scientist Project and uh, she has worked wonderfully under the guidance of our faculty, Dr. S. Koteshra from Electronics and Communication Engineering on uh, naval research, uh, which is basically the research output is useful for the naval research where underwater tracking and uh, location tracking will be the objective of this project. So very high end technical projects are being dealt by women at the same time the projects which are uh, having environmental impact, which are having societal impact. Because I personally feel uh, uh, the women have this perception of understanding the problems in a better way because they are the first people to put their hands on in, in, in any area. So uh, once the hands on, hands on are working, obviously the perception of the problem will be much clearly understood. And uh, having, having understood their, uh, say, perseverance levels, their uh, ability to withstand the stress. Now it is proven once again, but uh, that would be the best uh, qualities which are useful in R&D and I hope and I wish more and more uh, women also will be uh, turning up to their professional life with the support from the government funding agencies also. At KLEF, uh, I would say now the ratio is something around 40% uh, of the women are uh, taking up under in UG, PG, as well as in PhD programs. And I'm sure it would be soon be equal with uh, boys, uh, uh, and with, with equivalent to the boys in taking up these issues of uh, both scientific, uh, technological, and even, even in social sciences. In social sciences, I've seen more and more women participating, but equivalently good in technology. That is the reason I've shared this example of the naval research high end naval research which is being taken up by the women scientists. Yeah, I hope your message reaches out to what women who are interested in research and why they should come to KLU University to pursue research. Uh, let's talk about international students also. How does the university encourage them to uh, you know, in, get involved in research at the university level? We have started this program also now uh, being established now and proven that uh, KLEF is one of the best platforms with uh, NAC and NIF ratings and uh, having the infrastructure laid out, fully laid out infrastructure. The international collaborations on, are on go with the help of the International Relations Office and we have now collaborations. The beauty of this collaboration is we are not insisting only from the high end that is on, uh, only doctoral studies, no. We are starting these collaborations with small initiatives where our BTEC students can go and be in the foreign universities for a uh, short span of say 8 to uh, 12 weeks time which gives them an understanding of what is happening there and uh, they can have the first hand information of how they how further they can establish 
themselves with their master's uh, programs or with the PhD programs and thereby we establish this link. So uh, this, uh, this has been very successful uh, either with uh, Harvard University, with biotechnology students, with uh, say Thailand uh, Asian Institute of Technology. It has been proven with Malaysia, we have been uh, negotiating. So there are certain universities where we have placed our BTEC students for their say, uh, say uh, break between third year and final year. Uh, we promote them and we are placing them. We are uh, through the collaborations we have from the KLEF, we are uh, giving opportunity for the students to spend eight to 12 weeks of time. This is the first level what we are making an effort so that the students get the advantage. At the second level, the PG students and the doctoral students, there they can spend minimum of one to two years in the collaborative labs, which gives them ultimate advantage of having the work done with the collaborators and uh, joint publications, joint degrees we are floating. The, the last part is the beauty of KLEF is uh, having the faculty being sent to the uh, universities to stay for one, one semester to two semester, minimum of six months to one year, we are asking the faculty to spend uh, for a particular project where they'll be also having some teaching modules and also along with that, the research is the uh, second focus area. So having both these developed, uh, our faculty are being trained uh, uh, in uh, new domains or the domains where uh, if the instrumentation is a limiting factor, that will be fulfilled and uh, the collaboration sustains. And likewise, we also have uh, international faculty walking into our institute for a semester program, being here for three months and then delivering uh, certain modules which are allotted. This has been a regular practice from the days of KLC and it has now been sustained and we are fully established with uh, many universities across the globe to have the uh, foreign teachers or foreign uh, professors walking into KLEF and being, in, being here in campus and giving the uh, particular modules delivery to the students. So uh, having said this, all this has played a major role. Now, if, if I give uh, again, uh, quote an example, the biotechnology student who has gone for uh, Harvard for uh, say initial uh, eight weeks uh, duration of uh, project work. Now she had uh, been given offered a fellowship and she's working there for a master's program. I imagine a BTEC student working in uh, Harvard and uh, looking for a master's program. I, I feel uh, she has now a permanent address of settling her uh, professional career perfectly in a right place, in the best place possible in the world. And uh, same is the case with other students. Now students who have, uh, uh, one of the alumni I said uh, is, uh, we have alumni in Australia who, are, who have done the masters here and uh, after that joined because of their publications, because of their focused publications. The PG program, two semesters, we have the academics and the rest of the two semesters, they are fully focused on the project. So this long duration of one year project gives them a lot of scope and uh, uh, opportunity to uh, really take up a good research oriented project and deliver the goods. And this also provides opportunity for them to go to the collaborators, work in the collaborator place along with the collaboration. And that benefits both the faculty as well as the student. Student gets more advantage and more uh, exposure to the current technologies. Faculty gets uh, the uh, idea being worked out, the results are being shared and collaboratively move, we move ahead. And uh, this is one of the best uh, success stories uh, looking at the collaborative research because it's not possible for every institute and for every, uh, even though the institute is having a lot of uh, infrastructure fund, for, but still with new, with new technologies coming up, with new instrumentation coming up, it might not be very easy to catch up with the new instrumentation. So collaborations definitely pave in this way that we can uh, establish with uh, collaborators and then get uh, uh, get the maximum of the uh, instrumentation, the new instrumentations, new technologies which are being developed uh, instantaneously with the help of the collaborative students and they're uh, sharing their platforms uh, in terms of collaboration, research collaborations. And this is really going a big way in, with KLEF. We have 20 students uh, who are in campus, foreign students who are in campus doing doctoral studies and many more in the PG and UG level. I'm, I'm more focused on uh, doctoral students, I am, I am, I am, why I'm giving statistics of doctoral students is that is that shows that uh, there is more international presence at, at the highest level possible of the research that is at the doctoral level. And obviously we have much higher numbers in hundreds uh, with uh, PG and UG, though uh, they are uh, only for a short time, but still their uh, uh, research output in terms of projects is very much needed both for the institute and it's a win-win situation for the student as well as for the institute. 
So we are definitely looking and uh, in the near future we will be uh, going ahead with dual programs even in the doctoral programs we are looking for dual programs with the foreign universities and I hope soon uh, this area also will be full with uh, foreign students in the doctoral programs. There's a lot of uh, collaborations and curriculum is also being designed to encourage students to make uh, you know themselves in projects but if, if I ask about the infrastructure uh, available here what do you think is the biggest USP of uh, research facilities available at KU University? Something I believe in is uh, we we don't build uh, Rome in one day or that's that's the uh, natural saying that it's not built in a single day. Uh, it's the same applies for the infrastructure building of any university or any institute per se. So uh, here in KLF also there has been a vision and uh, the vision is uh, envisaged or it has been put into uh, action and now the present uh, KLF uh, position is that we are full-fledged established with the state-of-art infrastructure supporting the research and uh, research in both science and technologies. There are around uh, 40 uh, research-centric labs or professor-centric labs being established where a professor having his own funding from different agencies will be given a separate lab which will be fully furnished for him with the state-of-art uh, equipment what he needs for his particular research domain or research area his students fully occupying the lab 24 into 7 365 days the lab is open for the students besides this there has been focus on creating uh, a kind of an environment called lab as uh, called as fab lab or uh, different names are being given for this where the student can uh, right from the uh, say ug ug first year onwards if a student has an idea in his mind that he want to just develop a small prototype based on his idea with small changes what he has technological advancements taking those he can he can really work out with hands on going to this lab uh, in the evenings after the classwork and start working on developing this prototype uh, I have seen uh, in the Fab Lab uh, many of the mechanical students, CSC students, electrical students, electronic students sitting together and trying to build up a new prototype. And there have been, uh, uh, this This is possible only because of the available infrastructure in KLF, I would say. The Fab Lab is open to the students, the student can sit, uh, they can innovate, they can uh, create their own prototype, they can bring in the components and they can uh, create their own prototype and uh, display this prototype in different events, competitions and uh, the success stories of students winning the different competitions is already there in the website which uh, clearly states that the student have this infrastructure facilities. Besides that, the basic science level infrastructure facilities uh, being supported by Department of Science and Technology under Fund for Infrastructure Support, FIST we call it. So we have almost like uh, six to seven departments now, uh, seven departments now in the university which are supported by this FIST support for developing the infrastructure. And uh, through this, the labs are being, specific labs are being developed which cater the PG and uh, doctoral studies at large. Besides this, there is uh, internal funding from the management which is put on developing the infrastructure. Uh, call it the high performance computing which is there since last say 7-8 uh, years in the campus uh, is uh, clearly a hallmark of the university and that states that, that, that shows that uh, how much importance is giving, given for uh, creating infrastructure. Uh, high performance computing provides an opportunity not only for biologists in the terms of drug discovery, not only for uh, computer science engineers in terms of data science, big data analytics. Uh, so uh, whatever you call now as AI, ML, all are dependent on machine learning technologies are all dependent on high performance computing. And this high performance computing has been in place for the last say uh, eight to 10 years in the campus. Uh, that itself uh, showcased that the infrastructure is being supported by both by management and also from the funded projects. A lot of infrastructure has been created in the last decade uh, looking at the research perspective. And I think this is one of the reasons why KLF is in, in the best place in the country now and uh, moving towards research intense university is because of its uh, promotional activities for the faculty to promote research along with the academics the student input, the student contribution, along with that the infrastructure support from the uh, institute point of view. All put together, this land has uh, again uh, given a chance for the new, new generation researchers and new generation academicians, professors to establish and innovate and bring out new technologies and innovations for our own society, for our own 
problems which are which are our own and we have to solve it so this is the motivation behind klef that we have to solve our own problems that is what we try to give uh, students uh, problems which are our own we uh, we have to look at our own problems and we have to try to find solutions for these problems and students are the best uh, resources for this because uh, when we challenge a mind which is on heat and when you ignite it really the propulsion is uh, is much faster and they take off and uh, there is no end for that so we believe in this and uh, the ideology behind uh, my being taking up this position after taking up this position is we just need to ignite this and for ignition you need the best platforms and uh, with the state of art infrastructure with the with the well qualified uh, say professors uh, having long term association with students who have already proven with teaching now being into research and taking up these new challenges i'm sure klf will be very soon moving into the top positions with in terms of research outputs uh, you spoken volumes about your leadership as dean r and d uh, can you also share details about industry types and research and in innovation has also enhanced the research at kl university industry uh, as i said uh, let me come out with uh, an example so that uh, one can easily understand uh, again industry types are uh, i look at two ways one is let me say i'm doing my own research i'm an expert in that uh, i have my own ideology and then i do a research for a long time and uh, at the end of say one decade i come out with a product now this product has to go into the market and uh, if i have to do take up that challenge of taking it into the market yes one can take up that challenge i can also being a researcher uh, being an academician professor i can also take up this challenge and klf is providing that opportunity to have my own spin off company in the campus itself with the incubation center i take my research i take my uh, innovation into a product and this product can be taken into the market this is one area where uh, klf is promoting along and a spin off uh, promoted with a student uh, my own pg student or my own phd student being my own partner in my uh, company or in my business that's wonderful idea which uh, any any professor would love to have it and klf is having this culture now uh, uh, evolving very fast and uh, going ahead with uh, spin off companies from professors and we are promoting it very much the second end is uh, we sit down with the industry and talk to them and then start a project uh, where they are stuck for a long time or they have certain certain uh, glitches or certain areas which uh, because industry is most focused on their productions on their uh, markets and kind of thing and there might be certain uh, uh, areas or certain glitches which are hindering the production rate of production cost of production so our professors talk to them directly and try to take up that piece of uh, say problem and try to solve those problems and then make the uh, either the production cost or look at the uh, time of production cost of production something like that or quality of the product there are many areas in which we are working closely with industry uh, so these two are the lines which uh, klf is looking at so i am looking both at uh, having our own startups and our own spin offs with the faculty and having their own products into the market through established uh, and establishing their own markets and industries the second one is well proven industry uh, coming up with uh, problems and take cha- taking those problems or challenges and solving and uh, giving back to the industry that at both ends uh, we are moving the uh, spin offs are moving much faster i would say than the well established industries because most of the industries have their own r and d programs but certainly there are certain uh, uh, small and micro scale industries which are uh, looking at this and we are also partnering with these industries and the best part is uh, the uh, say the evaluation of the products is much happening in klf where the technology is being developed shared by the industry and then we evaluate and then uh, make the final product much more accurate and more powerful and giving back to the industry so industry pa- industry collaborations are existing and uh, they are moving at much faster pace than before ever because of the change in the environment in india itself with more startups coming up more innovations happening in the recent past and uh, the industry also uh, uh, going at a different mode previously uh, a decade before if i look at the industry it's uh, industry coming to academia there used to be a big gap between this industry and academia and always people used to uh, say there is a big gap and this ha- this gap has to come down 
but now i think uh, most of the industries are situated within universities if you look at most of the startups uh, are happening in the incubation centers and within the universities campuses so uh, the trend has changed now so we are working very closely with all these industries most of the projects are only projects which are initiated are uh, product oriented or industry oriented or startup oriented so uh, there has been drastic change and we are moving ahead in this direction and i hope most of our uh, research is transnational research which is going into one or the other product very soon uh, this has been taken up uh, in line with the funding in line with the national challenges national uh, call first like uh, we are moving ahead that is uh, translational research that is what we are looking at in every project which is being taken up uh, so let's shift focus to award the recognition for research block at kerala university it recently bagged a five star rating from riva council uh, what does this mean for kerala university uh it it reminds me back to my first day in klef i was very happy looking at the uh, very green flashy uh, I mean, green environment uh which is uh, the app name uh, called greenfields uh, vadeshwaram is located in greenfields now uh, if you have been into the campus uh, the greenery mesmerizes anybody i just walked through my campus and by the time i reach my uh, cabin uh, all my uh, thoughts are refreshed and i go energetic and uh, this has been proven again and again with the with the fresh uh, five star rating from the griha council for our research block is again uh, a, a fresh Uh, say cap, I mean, feather in our cap, which is already filled with uh, so many uh, accomplishments with respect to environment. It also shows the management's uh, perspective uh, for uh, making very green environment, and all the all the buildings maintaining the environment, and all the whole campus having this uh, uh, environment savvy uh, thought. Uh, it not only helps the students to take up their own. Uh, say ideology with respect to the environment because we live uh, in the habitat which is more greenery and which is more safe for us so uh, this is uh, showing by an example i feel this way that uh, we are taking our responsibility and we are showcasing with an example to the students how how to build and how to maintain and how to sustain and how to make ourselves our environment better for our own self so this is uh, uh, proven with an example and uh, i congratulate the whole klf family for uh, uh, maintaining this uh, spirit in toto and continuing this and also the management's uh, uh, perception and uh, say the vision of uh, uh, maintaining this and showcasing this to the next generations that is what i look at the uh, recent five star rating that uh, klf has once again proven and it is showcasing the uh, high spirit of the Uh, nature support and maintaining our own environment and maintaining our own habitat for our for ourselves and for our future generations and this is one more example of uh, this recognition five star rating and that coming for a research block uh, maintaining all the new trends the new uh, construction technologies adopting the new construction technologies showcasing it uh, you call it in terms of energy efficiency you call it you call in terms of design you call in terms of the uh, material used for the constructions i guess all it, it's a showcase uh, it's again a kind of showcasing with an example set uh, to display to the students and make them understand in real time and also imbibe this culture of uh, environmental friendly and environmental savvy uh, i think it's it's the best part of kelia Before I let you go, one last question. Research has been a very integral part of your career as an academician. How is a KDF supporting you in your current projects, which you are, whether it's national or international project, which you've undertaken at presently? Let me answer this in two parts. Uh, I'll take this uh, in two parts. Now, uh, as a dean, uh, research and development at KDF, uh, I look in uh, providing. because research is something where it is more intellectual where the professor has to put his thought process lot of thought process into execution so understanding a gap in the technology in the process in the in the product or understanding the difficulty converting it into a project giving it or executing the hypothesis uh, establishing a methodology to execute or to uh, do that experiment 
proving that hypothesis, getting the results and making a correction in the gap or filling the gap of what he has identified, filling the research gap. This is what research I look at. So uh, if a faculty is have to do this, the faculty's main job is like we look at the teaching phase of the professor. But at the back end, it is that professor who is into that particular uh, technology for a long time, who has a clear understanding of the technology for a long time. He is the best student, uh, suited for identifying the gaps. Now, uh, the gaps once identified, it's, uh, it's the responsibility of the professor to transfer that up to to identify the gap and to explain that gap in the in the product or in the process or in the technology as a as a research gap or as a research problem to the student once the problem is given to the student this generation students are so fast and so so good that they can take up the problem and they take it as a challenge and uh, the, the the problem is solved in no time Pro probably if we are connecting to the right student and if the problem is conveyed in the right spirit and right way to the students. And if the students are multidisciplinary, then the problem can be solved on the, on the table, across the table in very short time. So the professor has this advantage because he talks with a computer science engineer, he talks with a mechanical engineer, he talks with an electrical engineer, and we, uh, there are colleagues around him in different domains, the domain experts are available. So a problem, a, a research problem or a technology problem generally often involves multidisciplines. If it is a problem of a core computer science engineer in an algorithm, he can sit down and he can clarify or he can modify the algorithm and then the software is done. But if it is a problem which involves, uh, say, microchips, uh, circuits, and uh, say, all, all put together, he needs a mechanical engineer, he needs an electrical engineer, he needs an electronics engineer, he needs a computer science engineer to integrate the new software, to modify the software as per the hardware, then it, it, it is a professor who can fill this gap very easily. So I look at that perspective and uh, in such scenarios, the professor should be given that, uh, that environment as well as time to perceive this uh, research gaps, research problems, take them to the student, get it solved and bring back to the industry or bring back to the uh, stakeholder who needs that uh, technology to be adopted. For doing all this, the environment, the infrastructure and time has to be provided. So we need to have a balance struck between how much time a professor is spending in a classroom for a normal classroom teaching and uh, imparting the knowledge of theoretical knowledge. But then at the same time, how much a professor can spend in um, making the students hands-on and solving a research problem, making them real-time, uh, say, problem solvers or technology uh, solution providers. That makes sense for a student to become an all-round uh, uh, developing with the technology. So having said this, uh, it is my core responsibility to uh, provide this ample time for a faculty to do research, to do and provide the environment and time to support his research idea, to execute his research idea, to implement and get the output of his research idea and take it back to the industry and sell it. Now, for this, I need to manage uh, the time, uh, how much time he is spending in the classroom to the how much time is uh, making available to the students. As a core researcher, if I look uh, myself as a researcher, how do I do this? Is how do I plan my uh, time at the university? And how do I segregate? What is, uh, how do I utilize my resources? How do I uh, utilize my student resources, my working hands? How do I resource, how do I utilize my financial resources? Uh, if the infrastructure is not available here, how do I utilize my collaborative resources? So how best am, am I making of my resources in terms of uh, say, manpower available in terms of financial resources, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of collaborations, and finally making this happen, identifying a good research problem and finding a solution for it. Now, why I do this, uh, it gives me utmost satisfaction. Besides teaching, uh, when I see a student has taken up a project and successfully completed, and because of that successful completion of a project, he is getting uh, uh, recognition across the globe. I really feel very proud as a teacher and it gives me a full 100% satisfaction. So it, 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 it's a matter of full, uh, a professor doing his full responsibility uh, to the society at large. So I look at these two perspectives and the perfect management of the resources available. I, I'm, I'm trying to provide the best platform where all these are available for uh, my colleagues at uh, KLEF so that they can establish 
at Good Research Platform for their own career growth as well as the institutional growth and uh, establish KLF as a research intense university. KL, deemed to be university. We are future ready.